thing, right? <laughs> Most baseball fans might collect baseball cards or big leaguers autographs, maybe even bats or game used balls, right? But how about gloves? Well, it turns out there is a whole market out there for those who stockpile gloves. And for one San Diegan, his love for baseball mitts led him to collecting them, trading them, and now even designing them. 2015 is when it started. I got a buddy who um, did this whole glove trading thing, and I was very intrigued at the time, and I was like, you know what, I might try that out for myself, and I downloaded an Instagram for it, and it all worked out from there. Jackson Jabera is a glove guru. I try and collect some game-used gloves by pro players, college players, stuff that will gain value over time and appreciate. And not only does he collect baseball mitts, he trades them. What is glove trading like? I compare it to like the shoe flipping business. You know, you can sell them, you can trade them, you can collect them, stuff like that. When Jackson began to broadcast his love for leather, other baseball fans took notice. With his social media accounts gaining over 20,000 followers and millions of views. It was a passion for me at the time when I was 15 and now it's still the same way. I'm not letting any of that stuff get to my head. I'm just doing it because I love it and not for anything else. This thing is so cool. This is kind of the uh, glove closet, glove yeah. dungeon, if you will. You have a name for this thing? <laughs> no, not really. I'm looking for a, you know, a better place to store these for right now, but uh, this is all I got. So how many is all I got? <laughs> I actually don't know the number, but um, I'm probably around 65, 70 right now. But it's not just a lot of gloves that the 23-year-old has a mass. It's a lot of rare, game-used, and unique gloves. Each one with its own story, its own journey, and its own path to Jackson's grasp. This is the Noah Syndergaard glove, and uh, you know, for those baseball fans, they know he's known as Thor, really long blonde hair. He's got Thor's hammer in the palm, which is really cool. This one's the new Clevenger glove of the month. Uh, I'm a big tie-dye fan, so I love that, and also the beautiful sunflower in the thumb. SDSU guy's glove, Steven Strasberg. I have a game-used glove from him, and it's also signed, so that's probably the most expensive or most rare. Uh, really cool, he's got his a nonprofit on the wrist, and then his grandfather's initials on the thumb. I just try and trade either one glove for a bunch of gloves when it's coming in, and that's kind of how I established my uh, collection in the beginning. I would try and go one nice glove and get five gloves from someone else, or four gloves, you know? And But now I'm just kind of looking for those four from me for one really nice glove, because now I have the inventory to do that. And how could someone not fall in love with baseball when your backyard is Petco Park? Well, what's it like for you just as a baseball fan to be able to walk out onto your patio <laughs> and watch uh, the Padres? Yeah, it's pretty special. It was hard to do homework in high school. In the Jabera family apartment even had one familiar former tenant. When the building was first constructed, that was right around when Petco Park was built, and Ryan Klesko was actually the first guy who owned this house. So uh, that's, that's pretty special. While in high school at Cathedral Catholic, Jackson went from spending countless hours at a local glove shop called Charlie Rose to now designing his own gloves. You know, I got a really good opportunity from Laser Pro. They're a great company in Central California, and he gave me the full creative freedom to make my own designs and stuff like that and put them on the market. And obviously that's very tedious, it's very stressful at the time, but I made this uh, first design called the Aztec, the JJ27 Aztec, and it sold out in under an hour, and that was a very big confidence booster for me, knowing that I can do this and I'm confident in my career going forward. So keep your eyes out for Coachella gloves on a pro diamond in the future. I'd love to own my own company, hopefully have some big league guys using them, but I'd love to start out a glove company like Wilson, Rawlings, any of the big ones, and just get my foot in the door and show them what I can do and prove to the rest of the world. Jackson's a great dude, just graduated from Arizona State, and uh, we're going to see his gloves out on MLB Diamond one day, I guarantee it.